Well, having a completely mobile office is more important than ever for me as my family and I have been traveling the country for the last several months in a mobile home or slash RV. And so I wanna share with you guys today the bag that has been my mobile office and my mobile friend for the last several months. And it's the Mystery Ranch three-way briefcase. Not only does it have three separate compartments, it also has three separate ways that you can carry and move the bag around. And it really has carried all of my supplies. So we're gonna break down not only its organization, a few drawbacks, and also some amazing aspects to the bag to help you decide if it might be a perfect kind of mobile office unit for you when you're traveling around, going to the office maybe, or going to a coffee shop or library to get the work done that you need to. And I encourage you to stick around for the end of the video where we not only talk pricing but i'm going to run in a competitive option that depending on what you like or don't like in the mystery ranch might be right up your alley as an alternative to this pack so with that let's go ahead and jump right in all right gang let's go ahead and get to it here and as you can see right out of the gate it can stand on its own. A lot of briefcases don't do that. You know, they wanna flop over, so you're always resting up against a wall or a chair. If this is fully expanded, uh, this will stand on its own. That is, to me, actually a pretty big selling point. Now, the dimensions are being run in for you, and as they are, uh, this is made out of 500 denier cordura fabric, YKK zippers throughout, and just really, really well built, as we know from Mystery Ranch. If you ever handle any of their stuff, it's really well built, tough, and durable and i've seen that not only with this but many of the other models that i've you know used over the years so there are some great aspects out of the gate but then there are a few drawbacks um, as well now this is fully expanded with all of my stuff in it so you can just see they're pretty wide nice and full uh, and with this expanded it definitely has a pretty beefy wide more backpack than briefcase feel to it now if i zip this up it does slim down the profile a bit. It doesn't make it quite as like baggy, but in so cinching that down, you just don't get as much capability inside the main compartment that can really handle a lot when it is fully expanded. If your needs that day, that is an op option to make it really useful and versatile. Okay, so here are our two main compartments that you can access kind of from the top of the bag. Heavy duty, water resistant YKK zippers. It's actually kind of spitting on us right now. So, I mean, it's I'm not worried about my um, electronics in here with the way that this is built. So I have my MacBook Pro in here and it's this compartment is big enough to not only store it but store it inside a secondary kind of carrying case which is great because you know we're inside in and out of the truck i'm in and out of coffee shops and you know places all the time and i just wanted to double up my investment you know here so i can easily do that i'm rocking that inside a thule you have the secondary padded sleeve right here you know i have my mouse pad and a little pocket here for receipts and those type of things and then two secondary stuff pockets and the really nice thing what made me gravitate to this is that this is very heavily padded all the way around and the back and front are rigid so this is able to be one of the more rigid protected compartments that i've seen on messenger slash computer slash computer bags that i've ever tested or reviewed so it's very good um dense foam all the way around two rigid boards and really the only like not um, protected part is where the two zippers kind of connect and there's this very small portion and that's really why I did the secondary case because I was just like I, I, I now do use my computer for a living and I just want a secondary little protective piece just right there is really the only exposed portion so moving on to the secondary compartment here this is where you kind of have all your organization and this is an awesome catch-all for some people you'll love it for some people you'll kind of hate it so the benefit is, and you can see here, it's kind of doing this U shape when it's not a, a fully expanded. I'm gonna expand it here in a moment for you. But you have this Velcro panel right over here. You could do like a medium to small size firearm if you wanted to, and it would, that would be very easy to grab. Now I've Velcroed, you know, just a little organizational panel right there um, and secondary pocket, because it has very, I would say low, it's on the lower end of small organization. It has the big main pockets and you get that little bit um, up front here in just a moment I'm going to show you but uh, overall uh, it was lacking a little bit so this just gave me a little bit more storage for pens and just smaller items you got two little tuckable pockets that you could do smaller hard drives or mouses and then you're dividing and then just a giant dump all pocket that I often just throw a bunch of stuff now the benefit is I can carry my kids two tablets if needed in here um, and have that that with their heavy duty cases and I can easily carry that I can throw my headphones all kinds of stuff my Nalgene if I want to all sorts of stuff in this main compartment. Now, if I fully expand, just to kind of give you an idea here, it gives it much more of like a square and you can see how much more open that becomes. 
for just kind of a dump all. The downside is it can be kind of crazy in here because there's not more pockets in organization. Uh, and that can be a downfall sometimes. So it carries so much in larger, bulkier, maybe a camera equipment. I can throw my smaller camera box uh, cubes in here and that's really big benefit, but it can kind of become this kind of cavernous, just catch all. Now right here, they have their kind of signature Y um, quick open compartment. You can just pull and that'll open just like so. It does have a little magnetized um, attachment that will snag and you can even just leave it kind of like that if you're just going from maybe spot to spot in the office or something uh, that is kind of a nice little feature to have you got your little sets of pens you got a nice little dump pocket right there for a mouse or something else and then a vertical zip pocket that you can throw a few things in so a little bit of organization nothing to write home about there now this is kind of the earthy coyote tan they do have six different color combinations that you can uh, go with currently including a canvas um, style that's not the uh, 500 Cordura. So that's something just to kind of note, and that's definitely got like an old world vibe, Indiana Jones vibe, if you go with the canvas version. Now, not only does it have three compartments that we're about to look at, but it does have three ways to carry it. The first being a double grab handle. Reinforced, really nice and easy to grab. You could easily just carry it with one or double grab it, and you can just hold it that way. And that makes it very easy. And it is nice that you can then access all three of your compartments and there's not like a snap. I've never needed a snap. Some people may find that annoying, you know, to like that you don't have like a little way to t close these together. It does not come with that. Then on the side, they have the way that I have carried it the majority of the time that I've owned it, which is as a messenger bag over the shoulder bag with a really nice D-ring, really nice clip, and then a very large generous shoulder strap that does allow you to really get that over your body over a coat very easily i'm a larger guy 6'2 weigh about 215 and uh, this has the ability to easily go over any large puffy jacket you know whatever i'm doing the downside and this is one of the first negatives that i want to point out is it comes with no shoulder pad whatsoever and i think that's a miss we're paying good money for this that we'll talk about in a little bit. It's Mystery Ranch. It, it currently does only comes with this nylon strap and it's not like a super huge wide strap. So I actually had to go get a Maxpedition um, inch and a half shoulder pad with some rubberized grip, good breathability, so it'll grab you know slicker clothes. And this works great, but I had to pay another $15 to purchase that and I couldn't get one that like perfectly matched the color that I went with. So I just went with basic black, you know, just to kind of keep it consistent. And that works great in tandem with this, but it, that makes this now more money. This should come, I believe, with a dedicated shoulder strap um, included that you can add, attach or not. So, uh, or excuse me, pad for the strap. So uh, the fact that it doesn't come with that, a little bit of a downer, the strap itself in its designing totally works great and has uh, carried heavy loads very easily for me. Now, the super cool thing is if you're carrying it as a messenger bag, it does have these two shoulder pads for a backpack format I'll discuss in a moment, but those tuck away. So that's nice and you know flat there. It doesn't cause any issues. It's not bulky or weird in a messenger format. But then if you want to transform it into the third way of carrying it, it is a full dedicated backpack with two really nice, heavy duty, dense with breathable mesh underneath shoulder straps with quick release tabs as well that add to the being able to stuff it away, but also just use it in different ways, dump it if you had to in a really quick uh, situation and nylon loops on those shoulder straps that you could either throw carabiners on and attach small items or even attach a sternum strap. It does not come with one, but you could run them and attach it. Now that's a positive and that's super cool that you can transform it depending on the environment into a backpack. The downside for me is that the, and I've noticed this on a few of Mystery Ranch's smaller, say sub 20 liter backpacks, is that the shoulder straps for me being 6'2 are too short. The padding ends too abruptly and the clips, which tend to kind of cause a hot spot, tend to be above your armpit and not below and out of the way. So it's rubbing on my, basically my arm joints, if you will, and causing kind of some wear. And if they were just two inches longer, they would fit larger torsos and larger bodies better. So that is a, a problem for me. Smaller people, like my wife, who's under six foot, she doesn't really seem to have a problem with it when she carries it that way. But for me, being a larger guy, I just don't like carrying it that way for extended periods of time. Uh, and uh, I prefer to carry it as a messenger bag, partly because of the shorter length of the padded portion of the backpack straps.
All right, guys, so now I want to hit pricing and run in that competitive option for you. Now, I actually was walking through Sierra Trading Post and they had a few on extreme discount, but the normal going rate for this is about $150 on average, which is kind of average and right up the middle for what you're going to see with all of this heavy duty Cordura, heavy duty YKK, and really overbuilt high quality materials and designing. So we'll have a bunch of links for you below if you are interested in this model with all the different color combinations that exist. Uh, those will be right in that description box. But there are a few key features that this doesn't have that I'm actually migrating over in another bag to see if it might work for me just a little bit better. And that would be the VanQuest Gopher 15. Very similar size, designed to carry a 15 inch laptop. Um, very, very well built. I would put it on par with Mystery Ranch any day of the week, all of VanQuest stuff, been testing out their stuff for years. Uh, it is gonna be a little bit more expensive. This guy's more like around 185 to 200. So you're gonna pay a little bit more, but you do get a lot of other uh, features that the Mystery Ranch isn't gonna have, say like dueling water bottle pockets that could easily carry a 32 ounce Nalgene. You gotta put your water bottle inside the Mystery Ranch closer to all of your technology, you know, and, th and that type of thing. Um, you do have more of a flap style, whereas the other is more zipper. You know, in that case, uh, the um, computer is more exposed, it seems like a little up here at the top. It's padded all the way around, but I feel like the Mystery Ranch maybe has a little bit more padding for my uh, laptop. And the other main thing is just lots more organization, but it's not as wide, you know, that extra zip to really make it super cavernous in that main pocket um, does allow you to put a lot of beefier, fatter, like uh, canned headphones, those type of things inside the Mystery Ranch where it's pretty tight for the VanQuest. And there's lots of other features that I won't go into, um, but it is only for a shoulder strap. You know, it's not um, got the backpack straps, which, you know, as we've talked about. So there are features that are awesome with the VanQuest. Uh, and have a little bit more kind of a slimmer briefcase style profile. But there are also a few, you know, things that maybe a wider, more expandable pack like the Mystery Ranch makes a little bit more sense, saving a little bit of money and you're only gonna carry it in a shoulder bag anyway in a water bottle, you're always in your hand. Well, then maybe that's the case. If you're like, I need a dedicated water bottle pocket, I want the ability to organize my gear a little bit better. This has way more pockets in it and you're looking for it to maybe be a little more streamlined and slim and not quite as cavernous and you don't care about, you know, backpack straps, well, then maybe the VanQuest Go for 15 is the way to go. So uh, I'll give you guys an updated video on this guy coming soon, but for what I've seen for the last several months out of my Mystery Ranch, I'm in love with all of its capabilities and if the features that you're seeing, and the durability is phenomenal, if all the features you're seeing make sense, it is a fantastic option for a go everywhere mobile office setup uh, when you do a lot of stuff online and computers and those, that type of stuff is you know part of your game. So I hope this video has been fun, entertaining, but also giving you the data that you need to help make a good choice. Is the Mystery Ranch the way to go? Maybe the VanQuest or something else altogether. That's what I always wanna do in these type of videos. If one of the two makes sense for you, again, appreciate those hyperlinks. Helps me continue to make content, do what we do here at the channel. So appreciate you guys so much. Check out the other video popping up. Answer any questions that you have. I'll do my best uh, in the comments below. I will do my best to answer all of your questions in the comments below. And uh, until next time, guys, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.